uh, so I just wanted to get to you regarding uh, some courses that you've written that have been like truly memorable. Can you tell us about some that you know, really uh, captured your heart over uh, the years? Um, well, definitely on Rainbow Bridge this week. was in St. Clair last year, and she's my first ever St. Clair, so she's very special. Um, also, she's a rounder because she's my first ever win, and my win for to lose my 10 pounds. So she gave me both my first and my fifth, which helped out a lot. <laughs> and um, so those two Phillies are, you know, for me. I did. I used to gallop riding on a rubber day. I got to ride him in the King Eddie. That was amazing. He, he was, he, I can't believe I didn't mention his name. That's kind of embarrassing, but he, yeah. And was he sold privately? Because I saw him running in the States not too long yeah. ago. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, Dave sold him. Um, now, I believe Seth Benzel is training him. He ran for a little bit. Now, they're kind of great. So, I'm sure this came around. The war horse. Any word on how he's been doing for them? Or? Um, they, they were happy with him. I know he ran, he got into a bit of traffic trouble in Tampa. But, um, and I think they give him a bit of a break. So. And Jenna, how about for you, some horses that you've ridden that truly memorable? Um, uh, well, when I was looking at everything for Carolyn, I was sitting on Nancy L, who won the Breeders' Cup, so I was like, the first, I remember the first time I got on her, I got the shed door, and I was like, I think I tweeted it, I was like, oh my god, I got on Nancy L today, and um, so that was really cool, she's a, she's a really fun horse to ride, um, so yeah. Which so, how was far do you invest in? Um, it was an experience. Yeah. Um, the it was my first experience on the dirt, so I wasn't used to the kickback coming back like that. It's very different from the poly, so it's kind of like um, it was the first time I had to change my goggles and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was different for me. And then my second time out there, um, there, there was obviously the accident with Erica. So um, when I came back, it, it seemed like kind of a bad day. But um, when I look back at it, like the horse is okay, I'm okay, Erica's okay, you know. Um, I got some good experience, and uh, hopefully next time I will help her out. How did you four months? Yeah, um, yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, hopefully just anybody who's going down from the line will think of me to go to Fort Erie. Um, otherwise, I want to stay here and ride no, here. No, yeah, she's done really, really well there. Yeah, yeah, and I know um, that track in particular, uh, a lot of our riders do really well down there. So. There was a huge crowd, um, actually. Yeah, a lot of fans. Um, I think they're just happy to see that they got dates for racing, and it's exciting for them. It's kind of like... Yeah, yeah, it's good people, you know, so. Also for your ladies, what is your social media output like, like using Twitter, Facebook? Like, do you really interact with uh, racing fans and you know, leave a lot of comments, uh, things like that? Do people get in touch with you? Yeah, we're both on Twitter. Yeah, we're both on Twitter. And, uh, and I mean, some people prefer Facebook or whatever, but it's usually easier to interact over Twitter because it's like a public output and it's not like it doesn't reach so far into your private life sometimes you know a lot of people want to keep that separate because you are in the public eye and whatnot and at the end of the day you usually break your behind sometimes so yeah I know you have a horse in the next race, Jenna, so we want to keep you. You're welcome to stay as long as you want, but I know you. Paul, oh, go ahead. You said that you had to start the races before you ride in them. Yeah. So, the sixth race you were riding, you heard what Peter had to say. What was your opinion about that sixth race? Um, well, I think I'm going to win. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know what. Yeah, no, I, I agree with um, with what he said. I mean, it is a horse race on those gates open. Uh, their horses, their 1,200 pounds of mind of their own, you know, anything could happen. So, um, I'm not, a, I was never a better, and I, I don't bet. But uh, as far as he read the form, I think that's probably dead on his I'm not worried about him, I want to get your opinion. Oh, yeah, no, I, I agree with this. Probably a road horse too in a sprint race. So if you have a relatively good ride, you'll get to ride the horse in its preferred distance next time yeah. up. Yeah. Well,
Well, you have to keep your spirits up. You know, it's a, it's a game where you don't always win often, but, uh, you know, you hold yourself to high standards that you create for yourself, and if you satisfy yourself, I think you're doing uh, relatively well. There's a nice crowd of people out there tonight to ride in front of, and I'm sure it's a... It's, it's a great thrill, but it's a great honor to be uh, riding here at Woodbine. This is uh, this is one of the world's uh, great establishments. Well, and it's great to have you, too. It's great to have uh, articulate young women that can represent the sport very well. Your championship was well-earned. I thought you were head and shoulders above everybody else. The voting was a lot closer than I thought it would be. And Jenna, I was watching you a lot uh, last year on uh, many of those horses, carrot weight and that. I think you did a great job in the workouts and that. But I think you have a bright future as well. And don't get down. I mean, sometimes you are not, uh, you know, picked every day to, to ride the horses you want to ride. But I think stick with it, and you have that, uh, you know, that tolerance, and, and I think you'll succeed because I think you both have very good skills. But great to have you both, and I know you have to ride the next race, so I'm sure the clerk of scales is anxious to look at you.